fingers again with you uh, for hopefully another interesting oldie for you. Um, this is a, an oldie from about 1968 and it's from a gentleman called Don Partridge who was a sort of busker with a bass drum on his back and cymbals and stuff. And a, a number one hit from the UK for him called a song called Rosie. Okay, So um, I'm in standard tuning uh, but I do have a capo on the fourth fret, fret four for the capo, puts us in the same key of B that he originally recorded the song in. Right then boys and girls, let's break it down for you. So this what is on the face of it appears to be quite a simple number, which it, if you break it down into chords it probably is, but um, there's some fiddly bits in it which are quite tricky. Um, but I will show you some alternatives, okay, simpler, if you can't manage them, okay. So don't worry, you will be able to play it. <laughs> By the end of my lesson, one way or the other, hopefully. So the first thing to get right is the actual sort of rhythm he plays, and it's like a, it's this sort of thing. It's like so. What am I doing there? So basically, it's like. This, I'm, I'm playing a G backward, like a backwards G, which is like what I tend to do for G most of the time, like the, an open G. Um, by all means, use a standard figure configuration and just use your first finger for what I'm about to show you. And it's basically, it's like two down strokes, and then you come up and you hammer into that with your first finger if you're playing it this way around, second fret of the fourth string, and you hammer into it, it's like a and then off. So it's so bum 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 right? So it's on and off with this hammer on the second fret of the fourth string. I tend to do it like this, but it's just the way I do it, okay? So <clears throat> there's no difference. So I'm going to slow it down and hopefully you'll get the idea. Right, well that way. Okay, so that's the gist of the rhythm when he's playing a G, okay? So it's comes down. Now he goes to an A7, and I'm playing it this way because that's the way he plays it, I think, on the original. It's a bar on the first four strings uh, on the uh, second fret with your first finger. Four downwards, bar, okay, second fret. And whichever finger that you're comfortable with, you need to fret that third fret of the top E string. I, I tend to use my third finger, you could use your second finger or your pinky if you needed to, whichever is most 
comfortable for yourself. Okay, and that's five downwards. So it's do that four times. Rosie. And then you go to C, I'd like to paint your picture in this. Back to the G strum. Next line. Sometimes when I be A7, C, relaxing, I look up to catch your eye. Got the idea? So let's play it really slowly, okay? So from the beginning, we'll do four intros and then the first two lines of the song, okay? So it's. So the next bit is the chorus, which is the tricky bit, okay, really. Um, there's only verses and choruses in the song, there's nothing else in it, there's no middle section or anything like that, okay. So once you've got a verse and a chorus, you can play the whole song, okay. So the chorus, right. <coughs> Your eyes went there. Now this is the tricky bit, okay. So what we're doing there is like an A minor 7. Your eyes went there. So it's an A minor but without the third finger. Okay, so take your third finger away, open the third string, five downwards, and you start off with a pinky on the third fret of the top E string, A minus seven with the top E, top G there, third fret, top E string. And it, it mimics the actual words, the, the melody line. So your eyes, uh, so you do one strum with the pinky, then without, and then with it. So it's uh, <coughs> so uh, look up, catch your eye. Your eyes when they so eyes when they on off on with a pinky on the A minor seventh. Your eyes when they now this is the tricky bit, really tricky bit. Eyes, uh, yeah. We're going up to a B seven. Okay, so if you're not A7 we just played in the in the verse bit, you just move it up two frets. I'm now on the fourth fret from the capo, the bar, and then whichever finger is more comfortable for you. I'm using my second finger for this because you need to do this. Right, so it's you play the A7 uh, shape, but on the fourth fret it's a B7 chord. Okay, four downwards. Don't play just four downwards. Don't play the fifth string or anything. Four downwards, okay? So you play that. Then add another finger. I use my pinky to the um, uh, which would be a uh, four, five, six, seventh fret from the capo, which is the eleventh fret in real life, okay? The eleventh fret in real life, okay? So it's and then back to that a, a B seven chord like that. So it's. Right, so it's your eyes when they're winding, and when you come back to that thing, when you come back to the B7, it's like an up and down. It's a very quick duh bum. Okay, so it's a, your eyes when they're winding. Uh, um, bring that's on. Bring, bring. So it's eyes when they're winding. Bring. Got that bearing, it's definitely, definitely quite a definite um, double, double stroke on that one. Up and down on that, so it's your eyes when they're widening, bring. And then you just repeat thunder and lightning, bum bum. Okay, so it's two lots of that bum 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 bum. Okay, got that. So um, two lots of that, and then 
what you do is you go eyes in the whitening bring thunder and lightning and, and then we go to an E sus4 so I tend to play just with two fingers or E7 sus4 I just use that so it's uh, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string and my third finger is playing the second fret of the uh, third string all six strings is fine so an E7 sus4 e sus um, and then take and then just make it an E7 by taking the second finger away and putting your first finger on the first fret of the third string to an E7 so it's E7 sus4 to an E7 okay so now you've got this your eyes when they're whitening bring thunder and lightning and sunshine strokes the colour of your skin A minor skin and what I do there is I, I it's like skin he does that, it's like it takes that third finger away. So it's bum bum off da 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 bum bum. So off and on. So on, a quick off, and then back again with that third finger. And then it does the whole thing again, okay? So chorus from the beginning, slowly. Your eyes when they're widening, bring thunder and light. Sunshine strokes the colour of your skin. Again, your eyes are so blue. I just think of the blue skies and bumblebees buzzing in the wind. And this time you go to D7, A minor and D7 the second time round. Okay? And there's your chorus. Okay? So we'll do the whole first verse, we'll do the whole thing up to that point, end of the first chorus, shall we? And basically the song just repeats, okay? The whole thing, verse, chorus, okay? Different words, okay? So here we go, slowly. Rosie. Is um, two lines of the verse as usual. Uh, last line, Rosie. Oh, Rosie, A7. I'd like to paint your face eternally. And then I just what I do because he does a bit of a, does a bit of a funny bass drum and cymbal bit. 
crash, crash, crash. I just take the pressure off the left hand here and just do a <coughs> muted chord. And then to a D7. C, D, G. So D7, C, G. That sort of thing. Okay? So there you have it. Now, the option. If you can't on that typical bit where it goes like uh, your eyes when they're widening and thunder and lightning, ba -bum, that bit, if you can't manage that, just play A minor and B7. Okay? So it goes, uh, or A minor 7th and B7. So it goes, your eyes when they're widening, bring thunder and lightning, the sunshine strokes colour of your skin. Got the idea? So, where, it's, where I play that that bit, so it's a that bit, you can just play A minor and B7 or A minor 7th and B7. E7 sus 4, to E7, A minor. D7 and off into the next verse. So there you have it boys and girls. My take on Rosie from Don Partridge from 1968. I say it's a deceptively tricky number. It appears to be quite simple but there are some quite subtle bits in it. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed that one and uh, strum away, <laughs> busk away, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.